Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this video, we're gonna be talking about basic SEO optimization tips that you can use to better optimize your videos for YouTube search. All right, let's go. So YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, which means if you're not on it, you're missing out on engaging with a lot of people. Now video can scare some people because not everybody wants to be in front of a camera, but you don't always have to do videos like I do, standing in front of a camera and, and teaching something. There's a lot of ways that you can use video multimedia on YouTube to help improve your brand's visibility. Now just posting a video on YouTube is not necessarily going to get you the views that you want. You have to make sure that your video is optimized for YouTube and optimized around its specific algorithm, which is used for ranking videos in video search. So let's talk a little bit about what that means and what we need to do with the YouTube algorithm. So unlike traditional search, YouTube's algorithm places a lot of weight on the engagement of that specific type of media. So YouTube wants people to engage with your video and stay on the YouTube platform. So Google will track people as they click on a website and if that website has Google Analytics, they can track user behavior and understand what people are doing once they get to your website. Now YouTube wants people to stay on YouTube. So when you're optimizing your video, you wanna make sure you're optimizing for the experience on YouTube, that your channel is optimized for conversions, that your channel is optimized for growing your visibility and your reach online. Now, when we're optimizing our videos, typically this is what a YouTube video layout will look like. You have the video at the top, you have a title underneath, descriptions, then you have your tag box. Now, underneath that, obviously, is descriptions. There's a lot of other things going on, but this is really what you can control and what you need to focus on as the user, as the business owner. So, a lot like on-page SEO, the same principles apply. You need to do keyword research. You need to know how people are searching for the type of content you want to create on YouTube. Then you need to brainstorm about the content you're going to create. And once you create it, you want to use that research that you've done, whether that be, uh, you know, maybe a, an SEO tool or you've gone on YouTube and do suggestive search. That works really, really great. Another tool that we like to use is a tool called TubeBuddy, uh, which helps us understand a little bit of the, the search uh, algorithm the metrics around what people are searching for on YouTube. You know, what are they searching for as keywords? What are the suggested searches? Things of that nature. There's a lot of in, uh, information you could pull from TubeBuddy, but also just straight from suggestive search inside of YouTube. So either one of those places is a great place to start for keyword research. Now, once you start creating your content, you've uploaded it to YouTube. Now we need to optimize it. Now the first place is we're going to talk about is a title. So similar to on-page SEO, you want to optimize your titles in YouTube search. The first thing you want to do is be clear and consistent about what you're, you're, you're talking about. So for instance, this video is about YouTube SEO. I need to have that front and center in my title tag. Then if you have branding, you can follow up with your branding terms. So best practice in, in a long t uh, on an SEO title for your page would be, you know, keywords first, branding in the end. The same thing applies to YouTube SEO. Clear, concise keywords in the front, it makes sense. Your title needs to make sense. It shouldn't be keyword stuffed because then it looks really, really lame. But make sure that you have your keyword in front and it's a conversational title that grabs somebody's attention. And then at the end, if you want to add your branding, you absolutely can add it, but add it at the end. That's, that's where that's going to come in. The next step is looking at your description. So again, you want to give a description of what the video is about. You can also talk a little bit about your channel. You can transcribe your video and maybe use the introduction to the transcription as your description for your video. That's a really great way to get that involved and make sure that you have a description that makes sense. Again, people are gonna look at the title, they may read the description to understand a little bit more about what your video is on and, and it can compel them to watch or not to watch. Now, another thing you wanna do is add relevant terms like you would be with a meta description. Think about that advertisement aspect of a meta description that calls somebody into action that allows them to engage with you. Now, the last thing, a lot of people like to put links into their descriptions. While you can do that and YouTube will direct somebody off, if they click that link and leave the video, that's gonna kill your watch time. And that's gonna hurt you from the YouTube algorithm side. It's actually gonna prevent your video from ranking higher because you're having people leave the YouTube platform. So if you're gonna put links in your video, put a link to your subscription, uh, You know, if you have a subscribe link or maybe your channel link, or related videos that have something to do with the video you're talking about now. But keep people on the YouTube platform, keep them engaged in your content on YouTube, and you can do that using the description box. I wouldn't suggest putting a lot of links to outside sites as that's gonna negatively impact your site's visibility and ranking based on the YouTube algorithm. The last thing that we can use in YouTube are tags. These are the tags at the bottom of a video that are searchable. You can click on them and see other videos that are related. Now, when you're choosing tags, you don't want to overdo it, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you have enough tags that it makes sense. You also want to use specific as well as general tags. 
So I could do a general tag optimizing your video for YouTube search. That's very specific. And I could do a general one, YouTube SEO. It's a little bit broad. Think of it as, as long tail or short tail keywords. That's the way we're gonna look at uh, these tags. Make sure they're descriptive. Make sure there's other videos in those tags. You're not just creating random tags that don't really help or don't add value. You also wanna make sure that you describe your content with your tags. You know, your tags should be descriptive. And like I said, they should have some keywords in them. If you start following these best practices for YouTube SEO, you will begin to gain traction in search. Make sure you're doing relevant keyword research and understanding what the landscape looks like, create great video content, share it with people, and then take some time to optimize it. Now there's a lot of step two and step three things that we can do inside of YouTube uh, to um, build our videos up even more, and we'll get to that in a later video, but just getting started with YouTube search, this is a great place to start. Make sure you got the right title tags. Make sure you're using keywords. Make sure that your description is descriptive. You're keeping people on YouTube by not putting outside links on your video and using tags that better describe your content and can help you engage with people who are searching for content around that specific tag category. If you've got any questions, please comment below. And until next time, happy marketing.